Major Mohammad Ali Shah is joining me on the broadcast for the story. Very good morning, sir. What are your thoughts on this? And who is China to comment on Vice President's visit to Arunachal Pradesh? You know, it should be just taken with a pinch of salt. They are talking utter rubbish. Totally, I mean, in the year 2008, Chinese government had rejected a visa to an Arunachal bureaucrat, a bureaucrat who belonged to Arunachal Pradesh. To visit China, saying a naturally this Chinese doesn't need a visa. They are just being stupid over here. And now, when they oppose the visit of our vice president, I think they are making a laughing stock of their own selves. China, basically. Who have you said it rightly? Who is China to talk about it? It's not their territory. I can understand the perception of the line of actual control. Till there, I can give them the benefit of doubt, right? But this thing is most ridiculous, and it should just be laughed upon and ignored and neglected completely. And India did the right thing, absolutely, by rejecting it. We, it's not even worth rejecting. In fact, it's not even worth giving it a second thought, for that matter. The Arunachal Pradesh is very much a part of our land. I have served in the northeast with the Assam Rifles. You ask anybody from Assam, from Arunachal Pradesh, be it from Along, be it from Itanagar, be it from Tamang, be it from Khirmu, or be it from Tanga Valley. They will all say we are all proud Indians. It is China. They can claim, take claim of New York for all I care, but that does not mean that New York will become theirs. Similarly, I think it's the most ridiculous statement by China. Right, sir. But the question is, how long should we ignore these claims? Because every other day they are claiming some other territory, and they are taking, uh, making statements that uh, we should stop taking actions that would complicate the boundary issue. But how does uh, uh, the Indian leaders visiting the state matter to some other country? Uh, there should be some solution to this. Exactly, I totally agree with you, and that solution will come when the. There cannot be any solution because when it comes to China, two nations, which are incorrigible, China and Pakistan. I stated the obvious. In fact, our viewers would have already guessed it when I said two nations. Now, when there is nothing that let the as they say, let the dogs bark, let the breed, let the birds sting, let the mules bray. So similarly, let China go on harping about it. But when it comes to an action, when then. We are prepared to give them a solid reply. A bloody nose. We have proved it on several occasions. Last year, on 14, 15 June, 2020, when Colonel Babu and 20 other brave hearts were martyred, they, in fact, they killed more than double, triple of the Chinese soldiers. But China refused to acknowledge that as well. So they are experts at playing at playing psychological warfare. And when somebody, like in school, what happens? If someone tries to tease you, if you turn around and give a reply, that means you are being teased and you are being bullied. But if you just ignore a bully, if you ignore a teacher, a, a teaser, if you keep ignoring a teaser, then what happens? Then the person who tries to tease you himself gets teased. So for how long? Good question. Until China gets tired, because there is no other solution to China. I see. But when they take an action on ground, like what they did in Galwan. A couple of days back, they tried the. They, we had a 13 round talks, all right, which resulted in a stalemate, all right. The next day, Chinese were seeing testing the tanks on a high altitude area, which only goes gives us a message that they are not prepared with a high altitude warfare, with a high altitude battle. But now, China is well within. I mean, they can take claim. It's like me claiming, taking a claim that oh, I am the president of so and so country. It's like I think they, I think they, Xi Jinping should actually go in for a, a what that uh, mental disease called uh, schizophrenia. I think he should go in for a schizophrenic test where he's imagining certain things which are not existing for for that matter. For example, Arunachal is not part of China's boundary. The international community recognizes it. It is part of ours. So let them go on making that stupid claims and let the dogs bark. Let the breed, let the birds stink. We do not care. But if they dare to take an action, we will give them a bloody nose. And China knows that very well. So there's no other option left for them but to try these stunts. Right, Major Mahabadarisha, thank you for joining us on the broadcast and sharing your views on this story.